All right, so kind of starting with the big question. Why was Arizona State the right place for you? Um, well, I've uh, been getting, I'm sorry, I've been getting recruited from Coach Kenny Dillingham for a minute now since I was in high school. He was back at Florida State, so I've known him personally in a relationship that we've built like over the years. I've seen the work that he's done at each different school that he's had. He's had great offenses everywhere. So, um, yeah, like me just knowing that, and then I ended up taking a visit before I went to Colorado um, here last year. And I, I liked it here. And uh, obviously I ended up going to Colorado and that's what's been done there has been done there. So, but uh, yeah, uh, hit the portal again. And I was just like, Arizona State's the place to go for sure. Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of very talented backs, you know, were you, you weren't dissuaded at all with having kind of a, a loaded running back room to join? A hundred percent, yeah, the running back room is extremely talented. Um, but I believe I'm definitely talented as well too. And you know, for somebody that wants to go to the next level, that's not something that you can really factor in. But being around this great group of guys can only get me better and raise the team better. And that's all I'm about. Obviously, you know, coming back from an injury, what was that, that road back like? You know, just kind of the, you know, the physical rehab, but also kind of just the mental rehab of getting back to where you want to be. Uh, it was it was a challenge. It was a challenge. It's such a process. It's such a long process. But I mean, it's just a day by day thing. Like I just, I realize every day, like how far I've gotten from where I was at. And I just go from there. What, what did you kind of learn from that adversity and that setback? Um, patience. Lots and lots and lots and lots of patience. You have to be patient with this whole thing. You can't get complacent as well, too. You got to just get 1% better every day. Now, when you look at this offensive scheme of, you know, Kenny Dillingham, Marcus Arroyo, a couple guys who pretty good, pretty good resumes, putting good, some good offense together, what stands out about how they like to use the running backs? Oh, um, they use them. <laughs> they, they use them a lot. Uh, we're using the pass game heavily, a bunch of a bunch of two back sets. Even we're trying to even throw some three back sets in. So they use the running backs a lot. The running back is a prevalent, prevalent, um, prevalent character on this offense. 100. And yeah, what kind of jumps out to you about uh, Sean Aguano and what he's been able to do? Yeah, another guy with a pretty good resume of developing productive backs. 100. percent Yeah, Coach Aguano has put backs in the league continuously, and that's something that I definitely would love to be a part of. Um, he's extremely smart. Each time we speak, each time I get into meeting with him, I'm learning, like learning. I'm learning a lot, and I love that every time. Uh, what's the, kind of the, your read on you know how things are going? You know, three days in the, into fall camp, and how, how, how have you been performing out there? Uh, things are going pretty good. I love the team. The team energy is great. Like, like you have to rise to the level of competition out here. You have to. Like, everybody's super competitive or chippy or uh, talkative. Like. It's, it's it's really good out here. Day three already feels like <laughs> day twelve, so um, it's, it's it's really good. It's only up from here. Uh, what, what stands out about the kind of the team culture and the vibe now that you've, you've had a little time here? You know, you, you've been a couple of different places. How does the the kind of the culture that Kenny Dillingham is instilling in Tempe compare? Yeah, um, well, that's all what Coach Dillingham is about is culture. Like, if you ask him, what does he? You know, he says it a lot. Like, culture, culture. He wants guys that wants to be here. Um, he wants good people. He wants good characters that make good decisions. So that's what he's about. That's what the team is about every day. Like every day, you see it every day. Like, so it was one of the first thing I noticed when I came here was their culture. Are you looking forward to Camp T? What kind of things have you heard about that? Uh, what lies I, in the way? I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just ready to get out there. I'm ready to go be around the fans and uh, just get ready for the season. Go compete. Uh, what kind of things uh, are you wanting to accomplish in fall camp to? Make sure that you feel ready yourself for the season ahead. Um, just want to just get back into what I, what I'm used to doing as a running back, popping big runs every play. I mean, I mean, and every play. Well, I love to do that every play, <laughs> but, but popping, popping a big run or two every practice, uh, scoring, uh, getting real aggressive with my blocks, just making sure that I have all my fundamentals uh, in check again right before the season.